Dad? I can't hear you. Is something wrong? Wait! What are you doing? No! Stop! Take them away. Dime! Release them immediately! Commander! You! Release them! Now die! What? Damn it! We have secured Fumio Fukumachi and the Segawa siblings. The operation is a success. Withdraw immediately. But Commander, I can't turn my back now after he slaughtered my- I said withdraw! Damn it. Dad. Tetsuro. Miski. Now they're all gonna die! This is all my fault. If I had known it would turn out like this, I wouldn't have taken it this far! I should have given up. After all this, is that really how you feel? <gasps> Come on, Sho. Stand up. Who are you? How do you know my name? Masaki Murakami. I used to be a freelance journalist. I got involved with Kronos when I was covering the story a while back. Really? Sounds to me like you're lucky to still be alive. I know how you feel having your family taken hostage. However, if they got their hands on the Giver units, it wouldn't be just your friends and family who would suffer. I'm afraid the whole of humanity would be at the mercy of Kronos. Yeah, but the question is, what am I supposed to do now? I don't even have a single clue where the three of them were taken off to. <laughs> That's easy. I think I know where we can find them. Without their Japanese branch, Kronos is out of options. Only Mount Minakami remains. Mount Minakami? That's right. So you think we'll find my friends there? It's what I think. Who is this guy, and why does he know so much about Kronos? I don't have much of a choice, but I hope I can trust you, Murakami. there in about an hour. Try to keep an eye out for the exit, all right? So then, what happens when we get there? I mean, what's at the mountain? A place called Relic's Point. Huh? What does that mean? What's Relic's Point? An ancient ruin buried inside the mountains. The last Kronos base left in Japan. Huh? A hidden base? There's a whole ton of legends surrounding this place. For example, some people say that the legendary cave of Awa no Iwato is hidden inside. Other people believe that it's a man-made mountain constructed in ancient times. Scholars claim that the entire structure is the world's largest unfinished pyramid. It was before your time, but do you know of the Takashiro chain of earthquakes? Uh -uh. They happened in 1965 in the area surrounding Mount Minakami there was a series of apparent earthquakes. The mountain itself was at the epicenter of the quakes. We can only assume that Kronos went to investigate the area and happened upon the ancient ruins lying dormant deep within the mountain. The ruins inside were still functional, and now Kronos is using them as a base. Many, way more than before. I don't believe it. Hey, uh, move it. Uh, there must be something really big going down here. Murakami, 
What kind of things are they doing there? Mostly bioweapons research. It's a huge production facility supposedly built by the creators. Most complete ruins they left behind. The whole place had gone completely untouched for ages. A living relic from ancient times. The creators? Ruins? But most importantly, it's the place where the three Giver units were first discovered. So they were uncovered when Kronos investigated the ruins? <sighs> then that means Relic's Point is where it all began. <sighs> Dad's diary. It's my fault. I'm the one who started all this mess, sir. Huh? I don't understand. Tetsuro, please, would you mind telling me what the heck's going on here? Sure. It was my turn to make breakfast this morning. I ate it together with Sho. So go the lives of us two men. Things don't change much, but isn't that what happiness is all about? I got up and had last night's leftovers. Show forgot it was his turn to make breakfast, which is unusual for him. He had a slight fever, so he stayed home from school. I was a little concerned. I can tell there's something he wants to talk about, but I'm ashamed to admit that I can't find a single word to say to him at a time like this. Show has seemed unusually depressed for the past few days. I'm starting to get really worried. It may be that he's just not feeling well, but I'm afraid he might be going through a more serious problem that he's not telling me about. I've wondered if it's my place as his father to demand some kind of answer, but I think it's better just to trust him. I'm sure he'll open up and talk to me someday. I just have to be patient. Show's a strong boy. <sighs> For all of his life, he's kept all of his sad and painful feelings bottled up inside, silently enduring them all alone. Of course, it's frustrating for me to know this because I want to be able to comfort him so much. Dad, I swear I'm gonna save you. So that's it. Now I understand. Poor show. I'm really sorry, sir. If I hadn't taken him to the woods that day, none of this would have happened. No, thank you for staying with him, Tetsuro. Uh, this must have been horrible for the both of you. I'm the one who's sorry. I couldn't do anything to help. Don't say that! There's no way you could have known what was going on! It's my fault, too, for ignoring Sho's problems for so long. That's not true. I'm sure Sho's just happy to have you guys as friends these days. Thank you. I just wish I could have done something for him. Hmm. Sho's been fighting for us all this time, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> In any case, I'm just glad the two of you are all right. Don't worry about Sho. I'm sure he'll figure something out. Even though we've all been captured and locked up in a place like this, I feel like there's got to be something I can do for show. I am his father. They're somewhere in that mountain. And once we make it in, we can rescue them, right? I'll get them out of there. We're going back together no matter what it takes. Sir! At ease, you're relieved. Go take a break. But, but, sir! It's all right. Go on, I'll take care of everything here. But, sir! Makishima? 
Makishima! What the hell is going on here? Makishima, explain. I didn't want all of you to get dragged into this. But I'm afraid I no longer have the luxury to make that call. That's bullshit! We weren't just dragged in, we were kidnapped! Get a grip, Sagawa. How the hell am I supposed to get a grip? Listen! Listen. My real motive here is the downfall of Kronos. What? The downfall of Kronos? <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that crap? Hold on. I'll prove it to you right now. BioBoost! <laughs> what? You're Giver 3? <laughs> Stand back. Sending in zoonoids. We have to hurry. I'm ready for you this time, Giver 3. <laughs> this way, hurry. It would be easier for me to escape on my own, but the problem is, if I leave them here, I won't be able to manipulate the Giver 1, and he may prove useful to me. Joe, sir, I've located the targets. They're on the fourth level. It appears that they've just breached the outermost zone. I see. He's trying to use Terminal 2 to get back to town. He must take me for a fool if he thinks I'm going to let him escape on the transport line. I want you to cut all power going to level 4 immediately. Wait, stay here. Damn it, it's just one after another! What's wrong? It's the Giver 3. It's close. I can feel it. Damn it, Richard. Can't you even take care of one little boy? Do you need me here to hold your hand? But then again... I guess I'd be disappointed, too, if I had to come all the way to Japan for nothing. <laughs> well, I guess you're up next. Well, now at least they won't be able to pursue us for a while. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to use the terminal. Almost. He's definitely close by. That's unexpected. Something must be going on at Relic's Point. Hey, Makishima. I'm guessing we're still pretty far underground, right? What the heck are you planning to do now? Don't worry, Segawa. Once I find the right place to break through the ceiling, we'll come out on the surface. <sighs> You're not taking this too far? I mean, it might have been a little rash to rescue us like that. I don't think it's a problem. I plan to make a move sooner or later regardless. Gyo's pretext for calling me to Relic's Point was to have me transformed into a hyperzoanoid in order to fill a role as one of Kronos' leaders. Naturally, they would have had to examine my body first, and then they would discover that I was a Giver. Taking that into consideration, I'd say that now is as good a time as ever to act. Hold on. I've got a question. If you knew Sho was the Giver, why did you keep your identity hidden from us all this time? If our goals are the same, it would have been better to be on close terms in case we had to join forces like we're doing now. Wouldn't you think? As you know, I've been dealing with a rather complicated situation. It was necessary to avoid doing anything that would arouse any suspicion. And, knowing you were under their surveillance all this time, meeting with you and talking about the Giver wasn't possible. After all, to deceive one's enemy, you must first appear as an ally, right? I get it. But why should I believe you're giving us the whole story? <laughs> Tetsu, stop! Uh, Tetsu? What happened to Big Brother or just plain old Tetsuro? Don't take another step. 
What's wrong? Five. Stop sneaking around like rats and show yourselves! Well done, Diver 3! End of the road, partner. I'm afraid this tunnel's gonna be your tomb! Spare me the bravado. Just hurry up and transform so we can get this over with. <laughs> You're underestimating me. No matter how big you talk, five solenoids aren't enough to defeat a Giver with my power. <laughs> Come on, is that all you've got? What? Makishima! Uh, Mizuki! Uh, proud of your brute strength, are you? Well, in that case... He absorbed my beam? They're all so much stronger! Japanese branch. You bastard! Who the hell are you? Why don't you just call me Zeus? Zeus, son of Kronos in Greek mythology, after hiding for many years, killed his father to exact revenge and usurp his throne as king of the gods. In our case, that means a defiant child raised by our organization, fueled by hatred and holding a high enough position to plot the downfall of Kronos from the inside out. That's none other than you! Agito Makishima! Uh, only my closest aide would be so familiar with the Japanese branch to come and go as he saw fit. Indeed, it's no wonder that the Giver Three would suddenly appear wherever I went. If you knew that much, then why did you summon me here? Look what happened to Relic's Point. It could have ended up like the Japanese branch. I may have let you go too far, but it's still much less risky than letting you run wild. <laughs> you sound surprised. Allow me to introduce you to a colleague of mine. Like myself, he's one of the 12 directors of Kronos. He's also the greatest scientist that the world has ever known. Dr. Hamilcar Barkas. <gasps> Barkas? What is he doing here? Even though you may be, there is still a human body that constitutes the core of your being. You should know that its supply of energy is not without its limits. That foolish little rampage of yours has left your body completely exhausted. I myself have optimized these hypersonoids to be the best of the best. You were never a match for them. Not at your strongest, and certainly not now. Take this! <laughs> Now, Zento, go so fast and show him your true power! As you command, sir. What?
After the two divers endure a brutal attack from the hyperzonoid forces, Sho's father once again falls into enemy hands. Struggling to find refuge, Sho and his friends meet two of Makishima's loyal servants. In a quiet haven in the woods, the tale of his past is recounted with bitterness and sorrow. Longing for their dreams, the two divers depart for battle once again. Next time, to each his own resolution.